A guide to diabetic neuropathy in three and a half minutes. The nervous system consists of two main branches. The central nervous system, aka the brain and the spinal cord, and the peripheral nervous system, which contains the nerves in the rest of the body. Its main role is to transmit signals from the brain to the body and vice versa via millions of nerve cells or neurons that use electrical signals to communicate very quickly. It is these signals that enable us to see, think, move and control and coordinate our behaviour. There are three main types of peripheral nerves. Sensory nerves, which help us to sense our environment and feel pressure, temperature and our body position. Motor nerves, which are involved in movement. And autonomic nerves, which are involved in involuntary processes such as the beating of the heart, digestion and sweating. So what is diabetic neuropathy? Diabetic neuropathy is a long-term complication of diabetes where damage occurs to the nerves, leading to the shrinking of axon terminals. Here, here and here. The longest axons seem to be affected first and symptoms most commonly appear first in the feet and hands. Depending on the type of neuropathy, other organs can be affected, such as the heart, the digestive system and the urinary tract. The exact mechanism of how diabetes causes nerve damage is still not clear, but some possible causes include high blood sugar, high levels of fat in the blood, and other risk factors such as high blood pressure, smoking, and excess alcohol consumption. The symptoms of diabetic neuropathy can vary depending on which nerves are affected, and they can range from very mild to more severe. Sensory neuropathy can involve tingling, pains, numbness, the inability to feel pain or temperature, and a loss of coordination or balance. Motor neuropathy can involve twitching, cramps, the weakening of muscles, problems with gait, sprains and foot damage. Autonomic neuropathy can involve digestive or bladder problems, an altered heart rate, dizziness, altered sexual function or abnormal sweating, while polyneuropathy can consist of a combination of these symptoms. The most common part of the body affected is the feet. The inability to feel pain or temperature can prevent awareness of damage to the feet, so simple injuries can progress into infections or ulcers, which, left untreated, may develop gangrene. In severe cases, this means that the toes or the foot need to be amputated. It is important that symptoms of neuropathy are detected early to reduce these risks and complications. The early signs of neuropathy can be remembered using the acronym NUTS, which stands for numbness, tingling and sharp pains. Closely monitoring blood sugar levels and having the feet checked regularly are further ways to reduce the risk of neuropathy and tissue damage. For advice, see your doctor or healthcare provider and for more information, please visit the following web pages.